Hi friends, how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling blessed and staying in God's presence. And if not, I hope this reading uplifts you and brightens your day. If you're new here, welcome to His Princess Christian Community, where we read a chapter of the Bible every day and then just discuss it afterwards. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps our community grow. It allows YouTube to recommend the video to more people, which will open the door for more people to join our community. So today we're reading Proverbs chapter 23. I'm going to go ahead and say a quick prayer before we get started, if you wouldn't mind bowing your heads with me. Dear God, thank you for your presence in our lives every day. Thank you for your wisdom and your insight and your understanding as we seek to interpret your word. Thank you for bringing us together here on His Princess Christian Community, and thank you for strengthening our bond. In Jesus' name, amen. So, Proverbs chapter 23. While dining with a ruler, pay attention to what is put before you. If you are a big eater, put a knife to your throat. Don't desire all the delicacies, for he might be trying to trick you. Don't wear yourself out trying to get rich. Be wise enough to know when to quit. In the blink of an eye, wealth disappears, for it will sprout wings and fly away like an eagle. Don't eat with people who are stingy. Don't desire their delicacies. They are always thinking about how much it costs. Eat and drink, they say, but they don't mean it. You will throw up what little you've eaten, and your compliments will be wasted. Don't waste your breath on fools, for they will despise the wisest advice. Don't cheat your neighbor by moving the ancient boundary markers. Don't take the land of the defenseless orphans, for their Redeemer is strong. He himself will bring their charges against you. Commit yourself to instruction. Listen carefully to words of knowledge. Don't fail to discipline your children. The rod of punishment won't kill them. Physical discipline may well save them from death. My child, if your heart is wise, my own heart will rejoice. Everything in me will celebrate when you speak what is right. Don't envy sinners, but always continue to fear the Lord. You will be rewarded for this. Your hope will not be disappointed. My child, listen and be wise. Keep your heart on the right course. Do not carouse with drunkards or feast with gluttons, for they are on their way to poverty, and too much sleep clothes them in rags. Listen to your father who gave you life, and don't despise your mother when she is old. Get the truth and never sell it. Also, get wisdom, discipline, and good judgment. The father of godly children has cause for joy. What a pleasure to have children who are wise. So give your father and mother joy. May she who gave you birth be happy. O oh my son, give me your heart. May your eyes take delight in following my ways. A prostitute is a dangerous trap. A promiscuous woman is as dangerous as falling into a narrow well. She hides and waits like a robber, eager to make more men unfaithful. Who has anguish? Who has sorrow? Who is always fighting? Who is always complaining? Who has unnecessary bruises? Who has bloodshot eyes? It is the one who spends long hours in the taverns, trying out new drinks. Don't gaze at the wine, seeing how red it is, how it sparkles in the cup, how smoothly it goes down. For in the end, it bites like a poisonous snake. It stings like a viper. You will see hallucinations and you will say crazy things. You will stagger like a sailor tossed at sea, clinging to a swaying mast. And you will say, they hit me, but I didn't feel it. I don't even know it. I didn't even know it when they beat me up. When will I wake up so I can look for another drink? Amen. Wow, verse, um, chapter 23, what did you think? Leave your, fav your favorite verse in the description box below. I have one, but I will get to that. <laughs> um, so chapter 23. Um, 
The very first verse says, while dining with the ruler, pay attention to what is before you. Um, I think that you should always pay attention to what is before you, whether it's with a ruler or not. But in this in particular, in this particular case, um, it's saying don't desire um, all the delicacies for he might be trying to trick you. And I just wrote on the side, don't sell your soul. So regardless of who you're talking to or dealing with, um, don't allow them to entice you with delicacies, food, you know, wealth, anything, because the devil uses all kinds of tricks. Um, don't wear yourself out trying to get rich. Be wise enough to know when to quit. And I put remember to rest um, because sometimes um, we strive too much for the wrong things and we're working so hard, but for what? Um, what are we actually getting out of it? Um, so, you know, it's really important to pray on that and to ask God for to show you when you need that rest and then to listen to him when he tells you to rest. Um, in the blink of an eye, wealth disappears, for it sprouts wings and flies away like an eagle. So at any time you can lose your, your wealth, but wisdom will stay with you forever. Um, don't eat with people who are stingy. Um, and this one I really had to check myself because I've caught myself sometimes, not just with food, but with giving in general, offering somebody something because I know it's the right thing to do. But inside I'm like, do I have that to give? You know, am I going to need it later? Should I have really done that? Um, you know, thinking about how much it costs, you know, that sort of thing is always crossing my mind. So this really, you know, these couple verses, six through eight, um, really um, rang true to me. And it was God kind of saying, don't be stingy. Like, trust me to take care of you. And then you can give what you have, but don't be a fool. Um, but you know what to share and what not to share. Um, don't waste your breath on fools. Again, Proverbs says this all throughout the the um, the book. You know, not wasting your breath on fools and mockers. Um, don't cheat your neighbor by moving the ancient boundary markers. And again, like I I said previously, um, just have respect for other people's boundaries in general. Um, Verse 12, commit yourself to instruction. Listen carefully to the words of knowledge. Um, and so that's just something that I implore upon you to commit yourself to um, learning that wisdom, following the instructions given by God, and um, listen, listen to him for those words of wisdom, for that knowledge that he's always trying to um, give to you. Um, don't fail to discipline your children. And again, I'm not going to talk too much about the physical discipline, but I... I'm going to say, um, you know, don't be afraid to discipline your children because you don't want to be a bad mother. You don't want them to hate you. At the end of the day, they will love you for teaching them the right way to live, even if they don't in the moment. Um, let's see. Oh, verse 15. My child, if your heart is wise, my own heart will rejoice. Everything in me will celebrate when you speak what is right. And I love this because I know that the more knowledge that I seek and as I'm spending more time with um, the word that God is rejoicing. He is rejoicing as my heart is becoming wiser and I'm making better decisions and I'm seeking out that guidance. And then I also um, just made a note on the side. I actually took this whole um, note section over here and I put that the a theme of Proverbs has been to keep your mouth shut, speaking what is right, saying the right thing at the right time, and also um, knowing when to silence yourself so that you can so you can really learn what is important to say and using helpful words and i just said a quick prayer to remove the thoughts from my mind that are not helpful and don't lead to peace um so i love you know that speaking what is right everything in me will celebrate when you speak what is right um so i want god to celebrate i want him to delight in me i want him to take um like to be pleased with me. Um, so I want to be able to speak what is right. And that's why it's so important for me to continue to study his word and to, you know, commune with people who are godly and, you know, have godly advisors in my life so that I can become more wise. 
Uh, verse 17 says, don't envy sinners. Again, um, you know, don't envy anyone at all, but specifically sinners. Um, it says you'll be rewarded for this. Your hope will not be disappointed. So whatever it is that you're hoping for, whatever desire that you have, God is going to give that to you if you um, continue to fear the Lord. Um, my child, listen and be wise. Keep your heart on the right course. Um, keep your heart on the right course. So it's not just about doing the right thing, but it's about you know, putting your heart into it, guarding your heart and the reasons and your intentions and why you're doing things. Um, you know, don't carouse with drunkards or feast with gluttons for they are on their way to poverty and too much sleep clothes them in rags. So again, who are you hanging out with? Who are you associating with? This is so important. I mean, even family sometimes, you have to be mindful that you are not associating with people who are not on the same path as you. No disrespect, but just being mindful and paying attention to what we are allowing into our hearts and our minds. Um, listen to your father who gave you life and don't despise your mother when she is old. Um, get the truth and never sell it. Also get wisdom, discipline, and good judgment. So you want the truth, wisdom, discipline, and good judgment. The father of the godly children has cause for joy. What pleasure to have children who are wise. So give your father and mother joy. May she who gave you birth be happy. Following the righteous path, being on the right path, is obviously going to give your parents joy. They want the best for you. They want to see you do well. They want you to be happy and be at peace. Um, so obviously part of respecting your parents is by doing the right thing. Um, my son, give me your heart. Give me your heart. May your eyes take delight in following my ways. Um, so this is right here. Is I highlighted. May your eyes take delight in following my ways. Your eyes. So this was very important. It says, give me your heart and may your eyes take delight in following my ways. And I find that take, may your eyes take delight in following my ways so important. Um, all of you should be delighted as well. I would love to hear some feedback on that verse. If you'll leave it in the comments below. Tell me how that makes you feel when he specifically put eyes right there. The eyes, may your eyes take delight in following my ways. Then verse 27 goes on to talk about prostitutes. Obviously dangerous traps. Stay away from that. Do not be a promiscuous woman. Um, as um, is dangerous as following into a narrow well. She hides and waits like a robber, eager to make more men unfaithful. So stay away from promiscuous women. Don't associate with them and do not be one. Verse 29, who it has anguish, who has sorrow. Rewind. So let me just say this because God is um, prompting me to say that it's not enough just not to be promiscuous, but don't associate with promiscuous women either. Um, and again, that comes with not associating with people who are doing things that aren't godly. Um, you want to keep your eyes off of the godly um, because you want to keep your eyes off of the ungodly um, because you birds of a feather flock together. You are who you hang with. They're desensitizing you to the things that you should not be doing. The more time you spend with people who are do behaving the ways that you shouldn't behave or are doing things that are opposite of what God wants for you, the easier it will be for you to drift off your path and, oh, this is okay this one time. God won't care. It's not that serious. Look at her. She's doing fine. She's happy. She's living her best life. I can do that and do the same. It's easy to be fooled. The devil is full of trickery and smoke and mirrors. So it's easy to look at someone and feel that they're okay and they're living their best life and want what they have. Again, don't envy sinners um, and wanting what they have. That is going to um, be a distraction for you. And it's going to make it easier, again, to slip off 
the path that you're on and to say that it's okay for you to do those things because you see so many other people doing them. So that's why it's so important for your eyes to take delight in following his ways. He wants you to be able to see the godly and see what the godly are doing and focus on them and not the people who are doing the things that you shouldn't be doing. Um, so anyway, <laughs> let me keep going. Um, verse 29 all the way through 35 is talking about who has anguish, who has sorrow, who's always fighting, who's complaining, who has unnecessary bruises, who has bloodshot eyes. So all these things are things that you don't want. Do you want anguish? Do you want sorrow? Do you want to be fighting and complaining all the time? No, we don't want that. So that's why it's so important for it says don't don't gaze at the wine and see how red it is. Don't envy what they have. Don't spend long hours in the tavern trying out new drinks. You'll see hallucinations and you'll say crazy things. You'll stagger like a sailor tossed at the sea. I mean, it's just embarrassing. I don't know if you've ever been sober and watched a bunch of drunk people, but it's annoying just to watch people make a fool out of themselves. And I've been in a situation where I've drunk too much and I've made a fool out of myself. And I was so embarrassed the next day and so ashamed of how I carried myself. So it's not to say don't ever have a drink, don't ever go to a bar, don't ever spend time with, you know, um, enjoying life in those types of ways, but there's moderation in everything that you do. Um, and I may have said too much in that instance, but that's just, you know, my personal feelings. I don't feel that it's um, a sin to unwind, you know, but it's um, anything in excess is not good. And it's greed, gluttony. Um, so just keep that in mind. And also just pay attention to, um, again, those types of people are what we want to keep our eyes off of. So we don't want to spend our time with people who are like that. We don't want to, you know, watch a lot of that behavior and get desensitized to it to where we feel like it's okay. Because just because we see it all the time does not make it okay. So that is Proverbs chapter 23. I hope that you enjoyed it and I can't wait to read your comments in the description box. I mean in the comment section down below. Don't forget to check the description box. There's tons of stuff in there like a link to the Bible that I'm using as well as a link to the monthly newsletter, um, a prayer request form, and as well as a praise report. I want to see how God's working in your life. Um, it really is motivation, especially for those um, people who are new in their journey with God to see how God is working in other people's lives. So with that, I hope that you have a great rest of your day and you stay blessed and stay in God's presence. And I love you.